everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we'll be participating in the 5 under $5 challenge. It's hosted by Missy of Crafty Cove. It's also hosted by Emily of Farm Charm Chic. And today our special guest host is Ellie of DIY from House to Home. I will have each of the links to their channels listed in my description box below, as well as a link to the playlist. Okay, and for DIY number one, I have this heart that came from the Dollar Tree. And what we're going to do is I purchased two of the pink burlap ribbon, also from the Dollar Tree. We maybe just need one for this. We're going to find out here. What we're going to do first. We're going to take the ribbon like so. And I'm just going to take a little hot glue and dab it right here to hold our ribbon up to get us started. Just like, so. just like that. You may want to use your finger protectors for this and or your silicone spatula. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to wrap it right around our heart. Just keeping it as tight as possible, but you don't want it too tight. Ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. This is so beautiful and it is wired ribbon and you cannot really tell. It's like a grosgrain and it's like a multicolored, just gorgeous. So we're gonna go at 10 inches and we need four 10 inch four eight inch, four six inch, and then our center will be a four inch. Okay, and we have our Shawnee bow complete. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring our heart wreath back over, and I have these little roses that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Now, I did purchase these after the price change, so these were $1.25. And you guys know how I am. If you've been with me a minute, I like to do odd numbers on things, especially with when you're working with florals and such. So we're going to just go right to the side here with some of our roses, and we're going to hot glue these on. I'm going to do this in three, okay, just like that. So what we're going to do... Just take our hot glue, put it on our floral, just like that. These roses are so pretty and they're very flexible, very flexible. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to glue the rest of the roses onto our wreath. Get a bit of greenery and I just stuck it in. I haven't finalized it yet by gluing it but I'm going to go ahead and do so right now I think this looks absolutely beautiful so what we're going to do is just take a little bit of hot glue right here on the end of the greenery and we're going to go just like this and stick it right there there we go just like so and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a little bit on the end of this leaf right in there like that and then again with this side I think that one lays perfectly like that there we go I think that's gorgeous just beautiful so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our bow over and we're gonna fluff it up you have to fluff and fluff and fluff on your bows. So let's fluff our bow all up here. We're going to bring our wreath over. And we're going to place our bow 
like so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place our bow. And again, we want to keep fluffing it. I'm going to put a generous amount of hot glue on the back of our bow. And again, I'll have the bow tutorial in my description box below. And make sure you go check out the playlist. So much inspiration. And I'll have that link in my description box below as well. And there we have it. DIY number one is complete. Our beautiful Valentine wreath. I think this turned out absolutely wonderful. Our wire heart shaped wreath was $1. Our burlap pink ribbon was $1.50. We have our ribbon for the Shawnee bow, which was 99 cents. And our beautiful, I love these guys, roses from the Dollar Tree that were $1.25. So we have about four, let me see, 49 $4.68 wrapped up into this wreath. I think it is just absolutely beautiful. Okay, and on to DIY number two. DIY number two, I have these little dice that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And what we're going to do with these today is, our theme today is Valentine's. And we're going to paint these with some Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. And I'm gonna go all over these, get a good layer of paint on them. Just like so. And we will do two coats on each block. These are a styrofoam block and they paint very well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get all four of our blocks painted. I'll be right back. Take a bit of the Waverly Antique Wax. And I'm just going to pour just a wee bit in here. There we go. We're going to dry brush some of this onto our blocks. We want to make this look as much like wood as possible. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just tap this to the side here because I'll change my paper when we're finished. Box all dry brushed with the Antique Waverly Wax. Now what I'm going to do is I purchased these at the Dollar Tree last year. These letters, they are so nice. I don't know why, it just looks really good. So we're going to take, we're going to find the L, the O, the V, and the E. Okay, here's the L. And they're already on a raised sticky. But you know, I gotta dot some hot glue on here. Just like this. And this to make sure these will stick. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna stick that right in the center. To me, these almost look country western, and I think they look so nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our O. Again, just a couple dots of hot glue at the top, just to help it out a little bit. Oh, I like these stickers. These are nice. Okay. Our V. And our E on my favorite one. Just like so. Get the hot glue. Do this little love sign. I really love the way this turned out. And on to DIY. And for DIY number three, we have this little craft bottle that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. This was $1.25, as well as this 
Valentine bag I also purchased at the Dollar Tree that was $1.25 also. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up this jar. The bag has the luminized hearts and the non-luminized hearts. We're actually going to be using the non-luminized hearts for this project. What I'm going to do, it's nice and straight, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut right across, making sure that we have a heart in there. A whole heart in there. <laughs> We're going to straighten this up in a minute. So, just like okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take our bag, cut it in half, right here. Right here. And we can save our other part for another project. I'm going to go ahead and take my Fiskars. And we're going to cut this to about mm, two inches. Go ahead and cut these off real quick, get rid of the ends. Because we know it should fit around the jar. No. Two inches we want, guys. So we're going to take this to two inches, right like that. Right like so. Nice and even at two inches. Okay. Now. Perfect fit. I'm going to wrap even around the label. I didn't even take the label off, friends. We're just going to wrap our bag around just like so till it meets. And you want this nice and tight. You don't want this loose. So we're going to just like this, nice and tight. We're going to bring this up a little bit like so. A little bit of hot glue right here. Again, you want this nice and tight, just like so. And there we go. Awesome. I think that is so adorable. Now, all we need to do, if you want to paint the lid, you can paint the lid. I'm not going to paint the lid today because of the fact that it just looks so cute. It matches so well with the heart we have right here. easy project. I'm going to fill it with some Valentine candy and I'll have the final reveal in my vignette at the end of the video. And on to DIY number four. DIY number four, I have this love sign I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And what we're going to do is I also purchased at the Dollar Tree a while back some of the furniture scratch and this is in cherry. So what I'm going to do is literally just start coloring this wood. But what I'm going to do first is cut off the hanger, just like that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just follow the lines and we're going to color this wood. This is so pretty. Just like so. And we're going to color the entire box with the exception of our love. We're going to leave that plain for now. Okay, now I think this turned out absolutely beautiful. We have our fuchsia pink recollections marker and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over our love word here just like so. Get it nice and painted. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. And I have these dots that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place all colors just sporadically on our love sign. Just like this. 
I just think this looks so cool and retro and 70s. That's my era. I'm aging myself, but that's okay. That's my era. The 70s. Love them. Miss them. It was a blast. Just like so. A couple over here. Let's do a little pink up here. That'll work. These are cute. Okay. And we'll do maybe green over here. Actually, that's a purple. Just like that. I think that looks absolutely adorable. I'm going to go right here with one. Let's go there with the. No, we have a green right there. So let's go there with a. Hmm. Uh, purple would be fine. All right, there we go. All right, right there. Let's see. Okay, I think that looks absolutely adorable. We need one right there, don't we? <laughs> I keep looking back on, hey, we need one here. We need one there. Let me see. No, nope, you know what? We're going to keep that just as is. But we're not finished yet. That ivy made all the difference in the world. I think this looks absolutely adorable. Now what we're going to do is we're putting our jute twine hanger in. And I'm just making a loop, pushing it through, and pulling that through that just like so. And then we're going to go ahead. We're going to double knot this on the top. like so and there we go I think this turned out absolutely adorable on to DIY number five fifth and final DIY today I have the sign left over from the Dollar Tree from Christmas and I'm just gonna pull that Christmas tree right off there it comes off really easy and I can save it for next year so that's a great thing and I have two Hot Wheels rim sides now I cut these off when I made a large lantern and today what we're going to be doing is making a small lantern but before we put these together I actually want to paint them and we're going to paint them in white and I have our white chalk paint by Waverly what we're going to do Is I'm literally just going to go over all of this. Now this is the bottom, so it's really not going to show anyway. But I want to cover it because I'll know it's <laughs> not covered and it'll bother me. So okay, I'm going to go ahead and paint this. doesn't have to be real neat. I just want to get that coverage just like so. I'm going to do the inside. Let me bring my little chihuahua up here that we're watching for my sister-in-law. Come here, John John. He is down here just pestering me to get up here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring him up here with me. He's nosy, and he gets into a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> but he's a good boy. So, okay. Yes. Can you say hi, John John? Say hello. Say my name is John John Trouble. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go ahead. He eats everything. He chews everything. He's 11 months old, so. He's been with us for a month now. My sister-in-law's been in the hospital. So we're praying she gets well really soon. Huh? Huh, buddy? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, get this painted, and I'm going to get our rails painted, and we'll be right back. And we're simply going to bend our rods like so to put them in our lantern like that. I am going to tack them with just a wee bit of hot glue to stick them on just like that. Go ahead and bend it. These are ingenious. Whoever thought of this, I've seen this made a lot of times the larger ones and they are so so pretty i just love them 
and they hold up so well. Put more hot glue right down here just for security until it sets. I'm going to do the same in this corner, just like so, till it sets. And you can decorate these up beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our top piece put just like that. Oh my goodness, you guys. How pretty. How pretty is that? You need nothing else. These are simple and they're gorgeous. You need nothing else at the top. Although you can, you can put your pendulums at the, are your pendulums? Oh my goodness. You can put your little handles at the top and things like that, but you, you really don't have to. It's not necessary. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this glue on here and I want to get this straightened up because I can see it's going to want to go a little bit haywire on me. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Now what I might do is put a dab of hot glue up here just for straightening purposes. Right here. Okay. Go just like this and get this straight like that. There we go. That looks good right like that. Lantern. I've taken and I've put in some raffia. But what we're going to do now is I have one of these hearts that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of four. And they are the bubble hearts. You can put candies in them and such. But instead, I've taken it out and I've put some jute twine in it. And what we're going to do is just like this. We're going to take our heart. We're going to wrap it like this. We're going to bring it up. going to tie it as tight as we can just like so and we're going to have a floating heart in the center of our lantern I think that is absolutely beautiful if you want to cut this off so you can put candy that would be awesome for your Valentine this is so cute this is one of my favorites so far this year I hope you enjoyed it. So let's do a recap. On DIY number one, our wrapped Valentine heart with the roses, we spent about $4.68. On DIYs number two, three, and four, we spent almost exactly $2. And on this DIY, we spent about, mm, let me see, one, about $2 as well, all total. And if you like what you've seen today, go ahead and give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to your subscription and you'll be notified each time I upload new video. I can also be found on Instagram and Facebook at Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye.